Fully transparent solar cells, NVIDIA's Titan X is crazy as hell, and now we know the truth about SSD reliability. Oh, and Microsoft is finally putting Internet Explorer out of its misery. These are today's bits. Transparent solar cells have been a pipe dream for a while now. The concept itself is actually a little tricky, because to gather solar energy, you need to absorb the light. They have made tinted windows that are semi-transparent before, but they only get around 7% of, 7 efficiency, and they cast a weird colored shadows out while they're doing it. Well, Michigan State researchers came up with a way to absorb non-visible light to collect solar energy without interfering with regular light. They actually only get about 1% efficiency right now, but they're sure that with a little bit more development, they could get up to 5%. Now, 5% isn't exactly anything to get excited about. But on something like a skyscraper where all you see is windows, 5% really can start to add up. But what about that Titan X? Well, the specs are finally out, and it's a beast. $1,000 of pure awesomeness wrapped into the most powerful single GPU on the market today anyways. I finally found the video card that I want to replace my GTX 560 with. Now all I have to do is find a thousand dollars laying around somewhere. Let's be honest, I can sit here and talk about the card all I want, but I don't actually have it, so reading the specs to you won't really give it justice. If you haven't already, I recommend you check out this video from Linus for more details. Do you have an SSD that you're worrying about giving out because you heard that for every write cycle the memory degrades just a little bit? Well, you're right, it will fail. But a new experiment shed some light on just how reliable they can be. Surprisingly, Samsung started showing signs of wear way early compared to everybody else, while Corsair lasted the longest. We're talking like 1.1 petabytes worth of data written before things started to go wrong. I will link the article in the description, there's a lot to read, but as a little side note, the Intel SSD never really crashed. It actually just turned itself into read-only mode, telling them to take their data off and replace the drive. To be honest, I actually have mixed feelings about this. On one end, I could be using the SSD for something like a scratch disk only for project files that doesn't necessarily have to be that reliable, and I'd be a little angry if Intel told me I couldn't use it anymore just because they thought it met some kind of threshold. On the other end, if I did rely on it for something like a boot drive, I guess it would be nice to have that fail safe in play so not to lose any data. But who doesn't do backups? Internet Explorer is finally being phased out of Windows. Kinda. At this point, Microsoft really just wants to distance themselves from the name because, well, it's Internet Explorer. In Windows 10, they plan on launching their new browser known as Project Spartan, although I don't think that's the official name. Of course, Internet Explorer is baked into Windows so deep, though, that completely getting rid of it would be near impossible. But they do plan on pushing it to the side and moving to a new name. This is commonly known as rebranding. I don't blame them because, let's face it, Internet Explorer has gotten a lot of crap over the years, and if Microsoft truly has done a complete overhaul, it would make sense to rename it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click the little like button below. And as always, if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe.